Small-town newspapers were extremely important sources of news in frontier America, where communities could be fairly isolated. But more than that, they were often the only voices of literacy, publishing essays, fiction, and poetry, and helping to educate the public at large. As the country grew, so did the variety of publications. By the 1820s, special interest papers and magazines began to appear. In western New York, as elsewhere, these specialty publications were aimed mostly at farmers, which made sense, agriculture being the main business of the nation. By the middle of the 19th century, increasing literacy, plus new papermaking and printing methods, allowed publishers to cater to new groups of readers, such as women. Literacy rates exploded as women became responsible for educating their children at home. In response to this new market, publishers brought out ladies' magazines and sentimental novels meant to appeal to women's tastes. 